Hello, this is Chris Perry, and I'm here with another UAB History Moment. And today, we are fortunate to have Dr. John Van Zandt, a faculty member here at UAB. Dr. Van Zandt, what is it that you do here? Well, I'm a, uh, a professor of uh, world history and especially Asian history. Most of my research and teaching deals uh, with Japan. And uh, so that's what I do in this department, in, in addition to publishing and researching and uh, and of course, uh, teaching as well. So what was it about uh, Asian studies or Japan that interested you the most? Well, the reason I got interested is uh, when I finished a master's degree at the University of California, Davis, I got a job teaching in Japan, which I'd previously not studied really any of, uh, but as soon as I got there, I immediately realized this is what I wanted to do was to uh, teach and research about Japan and Asia as a whole. Oh, that's fantastic. And you also do Vietnam, correct? Yes. Yeah. Actually, that was my main, that was my initial interest in Asia was uh, Vietnam and the Vietnam War. And then uh, it, could, it expanded to uh, Japan and the rest of Asia. Yeah, this is, this is a fantastic, you know, learning more about Vietnam is something that most of the students that I have actually ask me about constantly. Uh, I do have one last question because I know you're, you're a busy man. Um, the Last Samurai. The movie with Tom Cruise. Right. How true is that? Well, the, the movie is based on actually a true context of a story that did happen. Oh, wow. uh, there was uh, a high-level samurai named Saigo Takamori uh, who helped uh, overthrow the old Tokugawa shogunate. However, he became disillusioned with the new Meiji oh. government, uh, and he left the government, and then he reluctantly led a rebellion against it. So that part of uh, the story in the movie, The Last Samurai, is actually true. Um, and, and what's also true is, you know, the sort of dichotomy about modernization and traditional, uh, traditional values, you know, certainly was a major issue at the time. Uh, the part that's not true, there was no Tom Cruise-like character <laughs> uh, involved in, uh, in that rebellion against uh, the new government. There you go. So no Tom Cruise with The Last Samurai is two thumbs up. Um, thank you, Dr. Van Zandt. Uh, this has been another UAB History Moment. Remember, history lives here.